April 1st, 2010, Angie, Louisiana, Lila's Domes. Two little domes are done. They look pretty nice. It's white, white. Took an extra coat to get them looking that clean. But we do what we gotta do. I'll be back this way in about a month. We'll see the windows in it. A little trim on it. The two little domes are 34 feet in diameter each one of them, two by four with three quarter inch plywood. There's extension on each, each end and one extension in the middle. The big dome is 66 feet in diameter, has a 20 by 16 foot extension, about 14 feet high. Each one of them has a cupola. The cupola on top of the big dome is 10 feet on each side, about six feet high. You can see Turkey Neck up there, he's 6'1". The little extensions are about five foot on each side, about five foot high. The roofing is the elastomeric. Delivered and erected for 125,000. I lost about 20 grand on this job. So there'd been $150,000 on this job. I'd have broke even. So you can figure a deal like this, delivered, erected, with the roofing and the extensions and the cupolas and the windows in place, about $175,000, $185,000. We're standing on the uh, north end of the uh, little dome, 34 footer. A couple of things I want to point out. You look around here, you see how we clean up when we're done. I think it's very important to keep a job site clean. It's much safer. It's a pleasant environment to work in. We'll try to keep it cleaned up. But there's, uh, with the extensions on these little domes, there's about 800 square feet, 810, 815 in the, in the first floor. If you do a 5 8 uh, second floor, which is what I advise, 5 8 or 3 quarter pie, uh, you're gonna end up with another 500 square feet upstairs so you're roughly looking at about 1300 square feet in these little domes so with the two little domes let's figure 2500 square feet and this will be a bathroom here a kitchen area bathroom goes on one side kitchen goes on the other a bedroom uh, kind of a living area. This is, uh, I'm not sure, maybe this is the kitchen over here. I can't remember my own floor plan. You have three windows out here. So there's, there's going to be a lot of windows in this, which is nice. And here's the main dome. 66 feet in diameter, like I said. There's about 3,200 square feet on the first floor including the big extension. Each one of these windows represents a bedroom. So there's one, two, three, four. There's actually five bedrooms on the first floor. So five bedrooms. The thing about this uh, stinker is, you see where that compressor's standing. There's gonna be a circle, uh, open area that's 30 feet across and then each one of the bedrooms uh, is going to be about 16 feet by 20 
So we're talking really big bedrooms. Uh, each bedroom is going to have its own uh, uh, bath. So you're talking five bath, five bedroom. Uh, nice big kitchen area over there. This is the uh, sitting area. There's an extra uh, wet bar area right there. Uh, we're talking some serious entertainment here. Uh, Doris is going to leave the second floor uh, pretty much open space and that's where she's going to put the uh, the children uh, you know four or five on up to 16 17 years old it's just going to be a rompous room uh, she's going to leave it open and put their games and toys and you know they can uh, they can just have them a big old time up there on the second floor now eventually in the years to come uh, she will be able to put a third floor in this. So we're talking 3,200 square feet on the first floor. If she does half to five eighths, three quarters of a loft, and that's what I've got planned on the drawing is about a three quarter loft. Let's, let's figure another 2,000 square feet for the second floor. That's 5,200 square feet in this dome and 2,500 in the other two domes. So you're looking at about 7,700 square feet for the three domes. And it could be more. I mean, uh, she's got the capacity to go to a third floor. And uh, so if we figure, uh, figure 8,000 square feet and uh, say $200,000 to do this set of domes, uh, what are you looking at? Twenty-five dollars a foot, you know, and you got a structure that's uh, capable of withstanding 200 mile an hour winds, uh, energy efficient, uh, fire blocked. I mean, the the list of uh, advantages to this building just goes on and on and on, but. You know, probably the biggest advantage is, you know, 8,000 square feet for 200,000. Okay, you know, she's, she's probably going to have to put another 100, 150,000 in to finish in the inside. Let's say even 200,000 to finish the inside out. She's got uh, 8,000 square feet at $50 a foot for $400,000. I guarantee you that this will get at a minimum $70 a foot and, and it should appraise for, for closer to $90 or $100 a foot. And if it goes $100 a foot, she's doubled her money. You know, on the day it appraises, I, I'm very anxious to uh, find out that will be the punchline to this, this dome because uh, at $70 a foot, she's going to she's going to clear about uh $160,000 is what she's going to net the day this thing is done that's what her investment is going to return her so the the two years that she's been working on this uh she's going to get a payday for about 160 grand that's minimum i'm figuring it's going to be more like uh 250,000 to $300,000 if it goes $80, $90 a foot, uh, $90 a foot, $720, she's made $300,000.